takes a new study on the impact of Juul e-cigarettes on users' health. And it shows that Juul vape products are very different than other e-cigarettes. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba joins us now with what makes Juul vapes so much more addictive. Andrea? Well, Ken and Veronica, it comes down to the amount of nicotine inside those vape pods, inside those jewels, that makes them so much more addictive, according to UCSF researchers. Inside a lab at the University of California, San Francisco, one study produced two discoveries. The first, that vaping is no different than cigarette smoke on your arteries. If you look at the amount by which the, the, the blood vessel function goes down, it's roughly the same whether they've smoked a cigarette or taken a, a cycle of e-cigarette vaping or, 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 or Juul vaping. It's roughly the same. And that San Francisco-based brand Juul is particularly potent, packed with five times as much nicotine per hit as other e-cigs. Dr. Matthew Springer led the study on rats in the lab, delivering vape smoke through this machine. The rats exposed to the Juul had a lot more nicotine in their blood than the rats exposed to the previous generation, uh, generation e-cigarettes and the regular cigarettes. He says the increased nicotine levels and delivery system on the Juul are even more highly addictive. Juul has a lot more nicotine, and this is one of the things that makes Juul hook kids. Humboldt State student Barbara Lorando says many of the vapors she knows claim it's healthier, something she disagrees with. I think that's really bad and really sad that people are still doing it and not, they don't know what they're putting into their bodies. Dr. Springer says the bottom line is this. Just breathe clean air. You know, that's, that's the take home message. In a statement to KPIX5, a Juul spokesperson said the goal in designing the amount of nicotine in the pods was to help smokers quit cigarettes. Providing a similar nicotine experience was a priority given the fact that early generation e-cigarettes had failed in this respect and as a result did not convert a significant number of adult smokers from cigarettes. Now, late last year, another UCSF study linked vaping with a significant increase in the occurrence of chronic lung disease. Live in San Francisco tonight, Andrea Borba, KBIX 5.